Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is the interval ab portion of my workout today. So this is part two of today's workout. Both parts will be posted on my blog as always. So let's get started. I have my interval timer set for 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest between exercises, and one round of this portion of the workout takes eight minutes. So here we go. We have four seconds to set up. Exercise number one is a Russian twist. So I'm going to balance, hold that weight, and lightly touch it to the ground on either side of my hip. So up toward the hip bone. And if keeping your legs lifted is too much for you, you can rest your heels down and do the same movement, which is nice and controlled. You want to control the movement from the strength of your core. So your body is twisting, not just your arms. You can see my shoulders moving from side to side. Ten seconds left. Okay, next I have a weighted V up. So I'm going to hold the weight in both of my hands firmly so it's not going to drop on me. And this V up is going to be a smaller motion. So upper body lifts, legs lift, stretching toward your feet. Keep breathing the whole time. I hear the floor go boom boom every time. <laughs> boom boom. Ten seconds left. Keep breathing. Okay, next we have a right plank row. So I'm going to get my weight ready. Go into my plank position and it's going to come up to my shoulder and then press up to the ceiling. Down to the shoulder, to the floor. That's one. Control the movement the entire way, both up and down. And the core should be tight and engaged. If the lift is too much, you could just bring it to the shoulder and back down. Less than 10 seconds left to go. Okay, next exercise is weighted hip lift. So this time the weight gets extended overhead. And legs lift, hips lift. Oof. If it becomes too much, rest the weight down. Never let it fall onto your fingers or onto your head or any other body part. So if you need to, just set it down like this. That looked like it was even more difficult to set it down. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Keep breathing. Try and keep those abs holding tight. Okay, now we're going to do left plank row. So, turn the other way. Shoulder press. Shoulder controls movement down. Nice. 
Where do you feel it most? Obliques. Obliques. And Good. arms. Ooh. <sighs> On that downward portion. Because <sighs> you don't want to let the weight do the work. You want your body to do the work. <sighs> your standing arm looks great. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, next we have weighted crunch twist. So, back to that position where you're holding it in both hands. You're going to twist right, center, twist left, center. So bring your knees toward your elbow and stretch them out when you come to center. More than halfway done. Okay, next we have weight drag plank. So I'm actually gonna move my mat out of the way for this one. Okay, and we're gonna plank, drag the weight down and up, switch hands. Down and up, switch hands. You should feel your core really working here. More than halfway done. I like this one. It's different. Okay, next you're going to do either Superman's or use a stability ball and do a back extension, which I'm going to do. You can do this with or without weights. squeeze from the glutes. You can put your feet against the wall or something stable to stay in place a little bit better. <laughs> Hey guys, and that is it for part two of today's workout. <laughs> um, so, as always, the breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, along with all of the other workouts I've done over the past year and a half to get in shape. So check it out. I hope to see you there, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new workout. Night, guys.